how's Patrick feeling after the fall? Don't know, I haven't spoken to him yet. Um, you think, uh, so obviously Alex Madronio coming in and, and stepping in to play big minutes at point, I mean, how much trust did you have in him to come in and, and help you guys out in a, in a tough third quarter? Yeah, a lot of trust. I mean, that was the arrangement, you know, speaking with him in the preseason was the idea of being that third string point guard. And, um, you know, we've got a lot of point guards out now. So, um, no, he was solid for us. And both ends stepped up. And, I mean, that's a high pressure environment. And, you know, Alex, you know, this was great. He's, I think, in terms of like NBL games logged, he's got the fourth or fifth highest amount in this team. So, um, no, he was very at home. And it was great that we could rely on him. You've spoken a lot about closing out games. I guess, what do you put that down to? Yeah, he was still guilty of obviously the the offensive rebounds, the second chance points, and, and you know defending without fouling, trying to keep him off the foul line, and things we wanted to address and work on. But um, look, you know, we had a pretty honest film session this morning. You know, it was a lot of film today, and we broke it up. The benefit being in Cairns, everyone's like eight minutes away, right? So you can actually get guys together and break them off and bring them back and. Um, you know, that, you know, I don't want to keep harping on it, but, you know, that Illawarra game was just not a very good basketball game for us. And I think it was a combination of, like, you know, guys with their heads up, their backsides a little bit and, and you know, poor execution and the two weeks, whatever it was, you know. Um, so we had a chance to answer it, you know. And, and I don't think we would have won tonight if we snuck away with that win in Illawarra because winning can disguise some flaws. And so the fact that... We lost in the fashion we did, and it stings that little bit more. It, you can actually have some more real home truths amongst the group, and you know, man, everyone responded. I got after, I got after Sam. Like everyone responded, I'm just super happy for the group that they could, you know, uh, feel some short-term reward with a with a win at home. Yeah, massive, because, you know, we're down Taron, we're down Taj, and, you know, Lat rolled the dice with Lat because he was doing so well. Uh, he fouled out early, and we just kept sort of um, moving down the bench to, to bring guys in and, and close it out. But, uh, look, you know, there's a lot of guys that played a lot of minutes this weekend, and, you know, we're going to have to uh, uh, manage the week moving forward. Paul, what, up 40 minutes? Um, I guess that wasn't the plan from the start, but how receptive were you to that as the game unfolded? <laughs> He doesn't complain, so it's all good. <laughs> on, on, on ball, I know he like, played a lot of backup point too, but how valuable is it being able to run the offense through your bigs, through Sam, other Sam as well? Is that something that you use a lot? No, massive. You know, and you know, we there's, there was times we ran sets for him against Illawarra, which you know we addressed and highlighted, and you know we go back to it. You know, it, we're not gonna. There's a lot like, and, and this is what I said to the guys too: is as much as I'll get on them. You know, I got a lot of faith and trust in this group, and we'll keep going back until we get it right. And you know, I'm not a man of my word, right? If I don't sit here and talk about the learning curve and the opportunities for these guys to expand their game, um, you know, if I if I just back out on them after one poor result, so it was cool that they responded. We got Sam in the block. He found other guys. He found himself. We got to the foul line. Like, tick, tick, tick. So real happy. Sam, <coughs> Sam, obviously you're capable of you know, much better performances. Dave, I mean, what's your assessment of your sort of start for the season and how comfortable you've been getting with NBL basketball? Uh, it's been wavy. It's been a learning experience, which has been good for me. It's important. Um, I thought I was I thought I was pretty good tonight. Stats don't matter. Like, we hopped on defense, and I took pride in that, and I, I really uh, worked on it. So Yeah, you were great. Um, you were. Yeah, I, like, we, everyone can look at stats. It's fine. Obviously, you want to put up good numbers, but um, as far as the defensive end, I got places to work on, but I thought I took a big step forward from the Illawarra game. Um, and then again, yeah, it's it's the pros, like it's a learning experience. Uh, Forty's been great with helping us do it. Uh, we got Pat, we got Lat, uh, Lat Bo, Wardenberg, all those guys helping out. So um, it's you just got to like ride that wave and and uh, stay even. Yes, well, Um, it was like do like do better. He has a lot of faith in me. He recruited me for a reason, um, as well as other guys. And he said that he has a lot of faith, and he, his expectations are high. And we should have that same thing for ourselves. So that was it. We took that. Uh, we took that uh, out there tonight, and it kind of showed. Well, you obviously, you coached you coach in Perth, you coached in Sydney. But being in Cairns, like you said, is it like such a big, huge advantage having guys close by, less traffic, yeah. people being able to train? I mean, 
Is that critical for a young squad to use this year? Huge. You know, we got we got resources available to us that are, you know, not necessarily available to the bigger cities, you know, in a sense of, I mean, right now downstairs we've got recovery labs set up and, and these guys, you know, will be doing their recovery that, again, I've never had that type of situation before, um, you know, in the bigger cities. And so, you know, Guys will wake up tomorrow morning. If they want to get some shots up, the gym's available and coaches available. If they want to go see Tom and Tim, the physio's available. If they want to check in with Mitch, nutritionist, he's available. And, you know, everything is just a phone call and a, and a, and a quick five-minute drive away. You know, Kansas is really good for um, just, you know, learning to become a, a full-time professional athlete. Same with you, mate. Um, just after Pat went down, what was the, the, the conversation amongst the guys? Obviously, you had the benefit of the half-time to refocus, but what was the conversation between the guys like in the talk and then just that process in finding the front again and getting back on? Uh, not a lot of conversation, but I think the energy was just like, I thought it kind of backed on the Illawarra game is to keep pushing no matter what. So that Ill Illawarra game was a wake up call and then not having Pat, it's like we're talented, we're good enough to keep going. Um, not one guy is, you know, we, we got, Taj out, we got Taryn out, guys step up. And I, everyone knew that, and there was no no talk needed for it. Everyone just did their job. Does this give you more confidence going forward as a team? Uh, yeah, I think it helps build our identity. What you say last one, just on is that, was he available at the end, or was it your decision not to put him out? No, he wasn't available. Right, any questions on Zoom? Yeah, Zoom is going to be Sorry, just quickly, 40. We saw... You saw how hard half the game Paul took the loss on Thursday night and he was always going to hit back even if he was hard on himself, but he's always going to have a big night tonight. What's it like having a leader like that in your group that just is willing to do anything for the team? I've, I, I haven't experienced anything like him, you know, in a sense of um, just the, the full package and... You know, he, he hasn't come up through the usual pipeline where, um, you know, like a like a big time college and, and the resume to, um, you know, to 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 you know have people take attention from day one. He's had to work for everything, and so maybe that also adds to the humbleness of him. Um, but you know, um, he's he's his evolution into this year as well isn't just his capability on the court, but. You know what he talks about in the change room. There's there's things I've never seen Bull do before, and he just keeps surprising us every day with it. And so, um, you know, <laughs> I'm lucky to have him. Like he's, I I don't know what I'll do without him. He's just been absolutely fantastic for this group. And you know, you, you can take a direction with going with some younger guys and 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 investing in like Bobby as a next star who's still technically a rookie and learning the game, knowing that. You know, Bulls out there sort of providing that leadership that, that Taj does, you know. And, and when Taj comes back, you know, these guys are going to hear it in stereo because they're both very similar. They're both very different, but they're 100% they're, they're compatible with um, the way they just approach winning. And, um, yeah, it's just been awesome to watch him just grow into this um, dominant beast. Brian? Uh, Coach, you mentioned uh, second chance points a little while ago. Just talking about your three throw chances as well. Uh, Pat Lat, 100% shots. Uh, Bo, Bo, Bobby as well, 88% shots. How important is that conversion rate across the board, especially, you know, no matter who you take on, let alone the many champs? Yeah, I mean, you could argue that it costs us the game in Illawarra, right? The, the three throw shooting. So I think. Um, I feel like we'll probably lead in the league in attempts. I may be wrong. We're definitely like top two in attempts, but we'll dead last. Before this game, we'll dead last in percentage. You know, you can win and lose games at the foul line, and I think we recognise that just from this weekend. You know, if we shot, if we shot the 60% of what it was that we shot against Illawarra, you know, Sydney walk away with a win. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.